welcome to Woking. How are you? Okay. shots fans and a good 4,000 plus Woking fans here at uh, the Lakeway Stadium. Staffordshire in goal, Harfield, Harris and Rowe, the back three. Uh, Scott, Uki, Frost and Monoga across the midfield, if you like, for the shots. Stokes playing behind Tolledge and Barham. I think we're in a good place mentally, a good place physically. Uh, it's just about turning up and hopefully, hopefully you know, putting the game plan. Stamp our authority on the game plan. We did more, more so in the second half in our place. We tried to do that for more of the game, and uh, hopefully, we come out on top. have the kickoff and they will be attacking towards their own fans in this first half. Here's Tolad into the area, tries a shot left footed and it's in off the inside of the post. And Tolad who had four efforts in the Boxing Day game scores with his first effort this time to go level with Josh Stokes on 15 goals for the season and it is in the 26th minute Woking Hill Aldershot Town 1 Making his way down the left, Barham's in the middle, can he get it into him? It's cut out by Cuthbert, and it's Barham's from Tyler Frost for the shots, has put all the shot down ahead. Harford tries the ball through the defence to Scott. Can he get the ball in? In it comes. Tolladge! Acrobatic left footed overhead kick and he goes wide. It was difficult but he smashes the ground with both palms downwards. There is the half time whistle and it is at half time Woking 1, Aldershot Town 2. Oh, 
All shots free kick. Glover takes it back, uh, gets it back again, sent inside to Harfield. Harfield clips the ball into the far end of the penalty. Oh, Minoga, Minoga toes it down. Barham follows up and he's towed it home. Minoga with the assist. Barham has scored in the 82nd minute and the shots might just have put this one to bed. Now for Aldershot Town as equal top scorer Lauren Tollage comes off and Ollie Bray is going to get a debut appearance for the shot. Uh, try and give us your initial thoughts on uh, everything that went on this afternoon. 
Well, I think we've been a great deal to watch for the neutral. Not that there's many neutrals in the ground. There's, there's partisans on both sides, and fans, and for both both you know, in general, acting correctly. Apart from one idiot jumping on the pitch, I, I can't understand why people want to do that. But anyway, um, it's just nice to. Be, I know how it, how it went last year with the theory for all the top, and it wasn't how they wanted it. So. I'm really pleased to take a few points back exactly the hands really, because I, I thought we deserved it. I mean, over the two games, I think we're about five. Um, but Michael, Michael is a top goal, and um, I can see him making these a better at the right time he makes it that. Stuart, that must be a brilliant feeling to, to come in, complete 90 minutes, and get the win over our, our nearest our local rivals. Yeah, exactly. Um, winning's always the best feeling in football, but to know, to come away from home with your local rivals and, and win on their patches um, is a big statement and it, and it shows what we've got in the dressing room. It's been, a, it's been a tough start to the season for me, obviously, watching the boys, you know, you, you want to help as much as you can, but uh, I'm back fit now, you know, um, I'm getting into it and obviously completing 90 today and, and with the win it'll only help and hopefully we can push on from now. Yeah, they deserve that. You know, we all know we've had a tough few years, so for us to come here and give them that, Christmas period, I'm sure they'll be delighted and, and they can go home happy and, and for us to share it with them is excellent, that's what football's yeah, about and, um, and, and we, we love to, uh, to make them happy. Tommy, uh, uh, winning the derby, that must be a brilliant feeling. Yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a close, close fought in Canada for the two games, there wasn't a lot in both of them, which is you know, expected, you know, local rivalries, fans have obviously got gripes with each other. When it push comes to show, I just thought over the two games we were the slightly best side, and I think four points has been justified. There are a few nervy moments in that added 10 to 12 minutes at the end. There always is because it just means it could be a mistake, it could be a slip, it could be, you know, you don't want that to be put on anybody. When, you know, I heard somebody talking the other day, I went to watch a game where a team equalised in the 97th minute, and the coach was explaining that sometimes there's winning draws and there's losing draws. If we if we did give them the two points back at the end there, it would have felt like a losing draw. Um, but like I said, I think over the ball, the two games, um, it's not much choice.